Good morning, friends. Hi, I'm here in the classroom and I am gonna show you some of the things that we do with tree parts. Here we go. I have a really big maple leaf and I put it into a zip top bag. That way, when I'm looking at it and touching it, feeling the veins in the stem, and even turn it over and look at the details on the back, then I'm not going to poke holes into it or tear it. And this will keep it more protected. So that's one thing you can do. Some here that are laminated. So the same idea as in the zip top bag. So I can see all of the little details. Remember this branch I showed you? That is fun to look at close up and notice the colors on it. What it feels like. Maybe you want to try to draw it by looking closely at the details and how many little branches come off of the big ones. I see one, two, three. And then on this one, I see one, two, three. Then you could keep going and adding more of the branch. Over here are some leaves I got out of the snow this morning when I got to work. So I put them in between paper towels to dry them off. And you could press these in newspaper or in a book or just have them out to look at. And then I have a bucket of tree parts that I've collected. Bigger branches, maple seeds, pine cones, evergreen sprigs, and a whole bag of acorns. Here's a picture that a student brought me where she found tree parts and glued them to a piece of paper. Make a leaf rubbing. So this is putting the leaf underneath the paper and using a crayon and going big motions back and forth over the leaf and pressing down and then you can see all the details of the leaf and that's a way to keep that leaf. You can also paint on the leaves if you have paint and then you can use it like a little stamp. If you don't want to use paint, you can even do that with markers. Just take a leaf, color with markers all of the back. You can use one color or lots of colors, whatever you'd like. Then put it on the paper, press down, and when you pull it off, you'll have a stamp of that leaf. Here is something. Is it a tree part? No. What is it? It is a tube, a cardboard tube from a paper towel roll. Or you can see this one is from a toilet paper roll. But this, to me, looks like a tree trunk. Think about different ways. You could turn this into a tree. You could even glue on real leaves to make the branches. Look at a leaf hunt picture and see if you can identify, see if you can match the leaves that you found to some of these leaves that are shown. There are lots of different kinds of pictures of leaves online. And so here is one that has a burr oak and a pin oak. Now I have some oak leaves that I laminated. So I'm thinking I might have one of those. So let's look and see. Do you see a leaf that looks the same as the pin oak? You do? Yeah, look, I can go right over it. <gasps> there it is. I found a pin oak leaf. And that is one of those oak leaves that comes from a tiny acorn seed. So cool. Now I have some maple leaves, lots of them. And I'm wondering if I have a red maple leaf. Hmm, let's look at the leaves that I just picked this morning. Does this look like a red maple leaf? Yes. <laughs> Is that fun? So you can match them up. You could sort them by color 
you could sort them by size. I know which one is the smallest, which one is the biggest. I have this leaf. And I have this leaf. Which one is smaller? This one, you're right. Another idea, since we're talking about trees, is making a family tree. So get some pictures of your family and see what kind of family tree you can make. Here are pictures of my family I have in the classroom. Do you see a picture of me? There I am. And this is Mr. Cayman. And we have three kids. That is my family tree. Look at those leaf people. You can even use cardboard tubes, pipe cleaners, or branches. give yourself leaf hair. Use a silly or serious picture of yourself, print it out, and add leaves all around your head. Kids especially like to do this to mom and dad's pictures. Here I am with leaf hair. Okay, I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do with those tree parts. I hope you have some fun finding them. Bye.